Hello everyone, uh, my name is Teresa ugla Kiru and uh, I'm uh, a project manager within the Sustainable Mobility at the, the Department of Urban Planning in Uppsala, at the municipality. And, uh, so, do you hear me? Yeah, it's okay? Yeah. Uh, and I am Nina Gustafsson Hassein and I'm working as a project developer at the parking company for the municipality. And uh, also here uh, we have uh, our colleague, I would say, from uh, the PTA, Public Transport Authority, Jonathan. Uh, it's nice to have you with us here today. Uh, yes, we start up. Yeah, and we also have Caroline. Uh, so it's us that you're going to meet if you come and talk to us afterwards. Uh, if Before we get into detail about Uppsala, we just want to show you this diagram. It's uh, from uh, a Civitas project, the EU project, that has um, um, well, they figured out which elements that are important for a city to be developed within to become a good city or ready to start with mobility as a service. Um, and as you can see, the green dots uh, are showing how well Uppsala is, well, how, how ready Uppsala is. Um, and when it comes to the internal use, uh, we have a high readiness. Uh, it's, we have clear traveling guide, guidelines uh, within the municipality. We have 13,000 co-workers, but we also have a lot of stakeholders, a lot of employers that are very interested in offering sustainable mobility for their employees. We're going to get into that in a few minutes. Um, and we also have very clear goals and visions when it comes to sustainable mobility. Uh, now I went too far, I think. No. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm One is that you're not very ready, and four is that you are ready. Or, I mean, four or five is when you're... So we, uh, we have work to do in Uppsala, but we're quite ready to start to, to introduce mobility as a service. Um, yeah, when it comes to shared use, we have a public transport system that is uh, having open data and is waiting for a third party to join us and to actually um, make a platform for us to use. Uh, and we also have, as Lina will get into in a few minutes, uh, a bicycle hub that is waiting to be filled with uh, sustainable solutions. When it comes to shared understanding, we have a platform, we have different platforms, but what we need is something that is combining them all. Uh, something that's combining the PT system in Uppsala with the one in Stockholm and adding car shares, carpools, um, bike sharing and so on. So now a little bit about Uppsala. Uh, it's a city that is based very close to Stockholm. It takes about 30-40 minutes to commute. Uh, we have 225,000 inhabitants, and it's the fourth largest city in Sweden. Um, it's close to the airport. The airport is right between Uppsala and Stockholm. We have about 21,000 companies and 40,000 people that are commuting um, either to Uppsala or from Uppsala on a daily basis. And uh, we have two universities, and uh, we're expected to grow with 100,000 inhabitants by 250. I mentioned that we have high ambitions, and here are some of the ambitions that by 2020, all the public transportation will run on biogas or, the, or other renewable fuels. Um, by 2029, we'll have a tramway, and we'll have two more railway tracks to Stockholm, and then we'll have four tracks. Um, and uh, all the transports will be fossil fuel free by 2030. And by 2050, we're supposed to be climate positive and 75% uh, of the mobility will be sustainable. Just uh, a quick look at this uh, diagram. Um, it's just to show you that we have a lot of strategies to work with sustainable mobility. And this is from 2015. And as you can see, the blue is the, the car use and the green line is uh, the bike use. So we've already managed to 
have a paradigm shift that where more people are using bicycles on a daily basis than cars, which is very positive. And something that we're quite proud of is that we were, men we were awarded as the bi best cycling city uh, in Sweden in 2018. Yes, uh, now let's talk a little bit about our case, uh, the so-called the site for accelerated uh, market introduction. Uh, as Teresa said before, we have a um, uh, cycling hub uh, that is now under construction and it's uh, right near the travel center in Uppsala uh, where all traffic modes uh, meet up. And uh, we have a large uh, amount of uh, people commuting uh, from and to Stockholm, especially to Stockholm, about 40,000 people. So uh, it's a challenge to uh, work with these people traveling uh, sustainable. And uh, Uppsala Parking uh, Company owns also a big garage just nearby, where we have now car sharing fl uh, fleet uh, operating right now and uh, also a uh, rental car, for example. And uh, in this garage, we also want to, to uh, have more uh, of uh, mobility services. So this is also part of the case, you can say. And uh, the cycling hub is going to be ready in uh, fall uh, 2019. So it's really soon, uh, you can say. And uh, we have a dialogue, uh, as we told you before, with the PTA uh, to combine bus tickets and also cycling rental and so on. But we haven't developed this yet, so we're just in the beginning. So that's why we choose this as a case for you to uh, work with. And uh, we think we have a great potential here to really uh, get to people to travel more sustainable. And we also see this uh, first hub for cycling as a part of a bigger network. Uh, Uppsala Parking Company is now uh, constructing um, um, more mobility hubs in the future. Uh, and we also have this parking policy in the municipality, uh, which gives us possibility to work with uh, strategic uh, planning with parking. Um, for example, we have uh, the municipality requires that the developers invest in public parking lots or mobility hubs, as we like to call them. Um, so uh, it's really uh, a big challenge to get these people parking in these hubs, but we see this really as uh, the future parking, so to speak. And uh, even the on-street parking in these newly built areas are, are going to be really restrictive. Uh, you can just pass and uh, load on, load off, or just park for 15 minutes. And uh, we see these hubs as uh, part of a larger system, a larger network, uh, which you can uh, make mobility services work for people living in this area. And now I'm going to just uh, talk a little bit about um, the newly built areas, uh, Rosendahl, for example where we are now re uh, constructing our first uh, mobility hub. And this is an uh, area where uh, you can cycle. It's quite just a few minutes from town. And uh, we have a lot of um, public transport to this area. And it's now under construction. And, and when it's going to be finished, it's going to be 5,000 inhabitants and uh, residentials in this area. Uh, and it's quite near the town. It's near the two universities in Uppsala. And we also have, uh, it's quite near the hospital also in Uppsala. And we also have a second hub uh, going to be constructing uh, in 2020, uh, where we can see also it's going to be part of this network. Yes, and now Teresa is going to talk a little bit about our other partners and uh, stakeholders. Yeah, uh, so as I mentioned before, and as Nina said also, um, a very important partner in this is the Public Transport Authority. Um, and uh, Jonathan is here today uh, with us. And we also have 80 different employers that have been um, certified as bike friendly. 
This means that they're working very actively on trying to make their co-workers commute in a sustainable way, um, mainly by bicycle, but they're open to other options as well. And we see them as potential uh, partners in this. We also have something that is called the Climate Protocol, um, and the members in the Climate Protocols are, um, it's 37 employers, Altogether, they have uh, about 38,000 employees. And these are companies that are based in Uppsala, but they also have offices all over Sweden. Uh, a lot of these companies have uh, employees that are commuting. So we see them as very interesting in this. Um, all of these members have signed a local Kyoto protocol, and they work actively to decrease their carbon footprint. Um, and for 2018-2023, they've adopted the challenges that has to do with the, the transport sector. As you can see, it's these um, challenges. Um, not all of the 33, 37 members have signed to work with these challenges, but a lot of them, because uh, we have challenges in different sectors. And what we see is that these two to uh, facilitate fossil-free and renewable commuting, and to facilitate for visitors and com customers to travel fossil-free and renewable are challenges where we can help them through mobility as a service. Of course, the other ones uh, are also uh, close, so we think that they're quite interested in cooperating with us in this. Uh, just to wrap it up, uh, as we mentioned, and as I, as I hope that we've shown, uh, Uppsala is quite ready to start introducing mobility as a service. And uh, we hope that you're interested in working with us, that we find our city interesting and our work interesting. Uh, but in case you're still not convinced, um, we can also mention that Uppsala was the global winner of the WWF's International One Planet City Challenge, and we won the prize for our work with sustainable mobility. Uh, and according to the jury, um, it's an international jury, Uppsala stood out as a role model for other cities around the world. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.